And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to a new video and a special video. We're going to talk about pricing is finally leaking for the new 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona EV RT and Scat Pack. And what we all know is that these things were going to be tuned for the first year with the Stage 1 kits, which is like a software update, and they weren't going to charge any extra for that, at least what we assumed. And that next year, when the RT and Scat Pack come out alongside the inline six, the six pack versions, that those would be back down tuned stock and you would have to pay to get the higher horsepower. And it seemed like at least slightly smart strategy that if they gave you something extra to tease us, to get us into the first year that maybe, maybe this EV thing might get some curiosity built and people might start buying them instead of buying Teslas. I guess that's the the assumption, and maybe convert some gas-loving, V8-loving car enthusiasts like myself to step in and try the thing out. But we were talking about pricing not that long ago where I shared with you why would anybody buy one of these things unless it's priced so low that it's it's just like a no-brainer. Like, why wouldn't I buy it? It's Even if you said it's almost as fast as the Tesla Model 3 performance. If it's almost as fast, but it looks better, it's cooler, it's a Dodge, it's not a melted jelly bean or whatever, then maybe they got half a chance, but they'd have to price it right. And I made that point really strong a couple videos ago, and I knew, and I predicted it, and I think we all predicted it, that leave it to Stellantis, they're going to launch this thing and make it so utterly expensive that Nobody's going to be able to afford it. Again, EVs fall back into the category of rich people cars. And these things are going to be ridiculously expensive. And if this information is correct, which boy does it look correct, then we got the answer to our question. They are going to kill this thing on arrival. They are going to launch it and it's going to sit there on the lots overpriced. And that's assuming the dealers don't do stupid stuff, add add-ons on and markups, hoping and thinking Maybe somebody's going to want to be, be the first one to have one of these things. And if they do that, it'll make it even crazier. Let's jump over to my other computer and I will show you what's going on with that car right now and then what the pricing is going to be. And I think you all need to just brace yourself and make sure you're sitting down because you're going to fall out of your chairs in tears laughing. If this is actually the pricing, which it could change, I imagine what we've got is leaked information. But man, if it's legitimate, these things are dead on arrival. And we know that no one's going to pay this price. Let's go ahead and look at this other screen. All right, so first things first, this is the Daytona EV site on Dodge Garage. And I just wanted to show you all the performance so you know what you're getting for these prices. And you can look this stuff up yourself, so I won't spend a lot of time. But the way the RT is going to be sold next year without the stage kit will be a 456 horsepower electric vehicle which will mean it's not going to be as fast as a lot of the Teslas, even the Hyundai Ioniq N, and a lot of other much faster or equivalent cars. But remember, the, the weight that they shared on these things are going to be close to 5,800 pounds. So you put 456 horsepower with 5,800 pounds, and you know Houston, we have a problem. That's the RT. But hey, RT's never been the fastest car so I get it. You're not buying it for that reason. You get a little bit more range, not a lot, and it looks cooler than a Tesla. But let's go ahead and look at what they're going to do the first year, though. The first year, they're going to kick up the RT to 590 horsepower, but you know what that does. That takes range away. So you're going to lose some range when you kick that horsepower up, and depending on how you drive it, those range estimates are rarely accurate. So that is on the RT. But now let's go and talk about the Scat Pack. The Scat Pack is going to come with 496 horsepower out of the gate versus the 456 out of the gate next year. Not the 2024, because the 2024, they're giving us a bonus of a what 40 or whatever horsepower they're adding on. And if the prices were really, really low and the performance was great on these things, then people might actually, who like EVs, jump in. But that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is 
they're going to overprice it. We'll talk about that in one more second. So remember, you're talking about the RT at 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, assuming they're looking at the stage kit. Yes, it is. Uh, yep, this is with the, with the stage kit. 4.7 seconds on the RT, and with the scat pack, with the stage 2 upgrade, 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. Mind you, the Tesla... I believe does it Tesla model three, the cheaper version for like close to half the price will do it in like 3.1 seconds. So maybe 30, $40,000 less Tesla plaid will destroy it and get into the, you know, twos or I think maybe even under two, whatever it is, it's really, really low. So there's no way this thing's going to keep up with that. So remember a plaid is about 80 grand. I'll show you that in a second. And this thing, well, let's go ahead and check and see how much the price is. This is great. I can't take any longer. I'm going to jump right in and show you all the pricing on this thing. So this is, so here is the pricing, at least the leaked pricing. Now, who knows? They might drop it. They might raise it. Many things can change. This is just leaked pricing. So here you go. 68570 for the Charger RT. Of course, it'll have the stage kit on it the first year, assuming that they're pricing it properly right now in this in this uh, screenshot. And this is a screenshot, looks like from a Dodge computer. And now look, a Dodge dealership's computer. Now you've got the 2024 Charger Scat Pack for $82,170. This is utter insanity. And I've been saying this forever, that you cannot, you cannot put this thing head-to-head -head with a Tesla and win, especially when they're offering amazing interest rates. But let's just go ahead and look at, let's look at a Plaid. Let's just go right in. Look at what a plaid, what you get with the Plaid. And I'll click order now. And we're gonna look at just a standard Model S for $68,000, much less is going to do 3.1 where the scat packs 3.3. So you're already saving, what, $15,000 buying a Tesla. But Brad, I don't like how the Tesla looks. Then cool, go pay $80,000. But if you want the Plaid, which is like just insanely fast, ridiculously fast, you're getting, instead of what, 670 horsepower, you're getting 100 or 1,020 horsepower in this thing. 1,020. Tri-motor, all-wheel drive, 1.99 seconds versus what is it 3.3 seconds so 1.99 seconds you're getting 359 miles of range versus the daytona which man i hope i can show you all what you're getting in range you're going to be giving up a whole bunch of range by driving this thing around here you go so the scat pack so the <laughs> So the RT, you're getting 317 miles of range, optimal. And the Scat Pack, 260 miles of range versus 359 miles of range. 100, or 200 mile an hour top speed. And I don't know if they put that in here, but I'll tell you it's about 134 miles an hour, 135 miles an hour as a top speed. So that's underwhelming no matter how you cut it on this thing yeah, i don't know if they put it in here and uh but you can just look that up type it in google it'll come right up so you're getting way more car for eighty three thousand dollars versus eighty two thousand dollars for this dodge so i think dodge is screwed i think there's no way people are going to buy these things i think there's absolutely no chance in hell that they buy these things for these prices and if dealers jack these prices up <laughs> Just put add-ons and all that stupid stuff and $350 lug nuts and nitro fill for $500. I mean, these prices are going to go to the moon because whatever this, this, uh, these initial prices are oftentimes change. So that's it. Just had to share that with you all in a real quick video before I call it a night. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this pricing in the comments below. Are they dead on arrival? I'm thinking they are. With prices like that, they're out of their ever-loving minds. They've got, they've got no way to compete with Tesla. And you better believe Elon Musk will, if they, he sees any, any threat to his, his sales, he will just dump prices even more on these cars. Oh, by the way, for $82,000 on a, 
Model S Plaid for another, I think it's $10,000 or $100 a month, you can actually get real self-driving. Like at least much better, the best self-driving out there. Not that I would necessarily trust it, but you can at least get that. You can't get that with this thing. So you're giving up a lot, but that's a whole nother video. So with that, everybody, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.